From mysterious coded languages to ancient illustrations of magical creatures, I'm Bob from World 5 List. Join me as we take a look at 10 of the strangest and weirdest books ever written. Number 10. The Story of the Vivian Girls Alright, first up, are you ready? This one has a long title. The Story of the Vivian Girls in what is known as the Realms of the Unreal of the Glandico Anglican War Storm caused by the Child Slave Rebellion. Wow, what a title. The writer, Henry Darger, kept his book a secret until the day he died. But why? Well, nobody really actually knows, because not a soul even knew about this intricate book until the landlord discovered the 15,000 pages of bizarre storyline after his death in 1973. The book itself has over 9 million words, with accompanying watercolor illustrations. Some of them measure over 10 feet wide. All of this from a janitor in Chicago that didn't share it with anyone. Part of what makes this such a strange book is because we don't know why it was never shared or what it was even written for. I'd be seriously interested to know though, and to read it after just hearing the title. Number 9. Codex Seraphinianus now this one has an important question behind it. What's more mysterious than a book that's written in a language that no one understands? That's exactly what this book is. It also has some illustrations of some bizarre things that are impossible. An Italian architect named Luigi Serafini is behind this strange work of fiction. Though in 1981 when he published it, he claimed it to be scientific and factual. With one look at the outrageous hand-drawn illustrations, it's pretty clear that this book is anything but scientific. It took him about two years to complete his handmade work, but scholars have been trying to decode it for over 20. Unfortunately, the only thing those scholars have discovered is that the book is some kind of variation of Serafini and that the alphabet has around 24 characters though the alphabet is not like anything that any of us have ever created. You may be the one to decode it, and most of it has been published online if you want to try. Number 8. The Smithfield Decretals But first, if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe to World 5 List and click on the bell, because you don't want to miss any more great videos. Up next comes The Smithfield Decretals, a book commissioned by Gregory IX, a pope from the 13th century. Gregory was placed in charge of writing the laws for the church. This was not uncommon, and neither was the fact that it was an illuminated manuscript. An illuminated manuscript is written on vellum with calligraphy, illustrations, and all kinds of fancy things. However, this one had illustrations like no other religious text. Some of them included dogs riding rabbits, gigantic snails, bears attacking unicorns, and even a creature that looks just like Master Yoda. No one knows why these illustrations are included, just that they're very, very weird, especially for the 13th century. I mean, we're talking about the 1200s. It's a mystery that maybe only Luke Skywalker can figure out. Number 7. The Rahonk Codex The Rahonk Codex was first discovered in the 1800s in Hungary. But it's still a huge mystery because no one can decode it even to this day. And additionally, nobody knows who wrote it or where it even came from. Each of the 448 pages of this mysterious text is watermarked with an anchor in a circle. The watermarks seem to date back to at least 1540 AD or possibly even as soon as 1529. Some of the illustrations included are landscapes, military battles, and religions like Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. It has been hypothesized that the presence of all three religions could mean that the author wanted them to coexist or that they supported all three. There are also a lot of theories about how the text should be read. 
One is that the Rahank Codex is a variation of the Indian Brahmi script, therefore should be read top to bottom and left to right. However, another says that it should be read opposite, right to left and bottom to top. Ultimately, none of the theories can be agreed upon, which makes it one of the most mysterious books to perplex mankind. Number 6. The Prophecies Coming in at number 6 is The Prophecies, a book that was written by a French astrologer and physician named Michel de Notre Dame, or commonly known as Nostradamus. This book was written over 400 years ago and has been able to predict some of the larger world events. That makes Nostradamus one of the best prophets of history, but how was he able to be so accurate? He claims he saw his visions by staring into a bowl of water, and somehow this gave him visions that were so accurate that it's a little bit frightening. Some of these predictions included the Great Fire of London, atomic bombs in Japan, the French Revolution, the rise of Adolf Hitler, and even September 11th, among others. All of the predictions have been pretty accurate, and if they hold true, it means that pretty soon we'll see World War III. Number 5. Protagorium A.C. Ostentorum Chronicon This book with a complicated title was written by a man with an even more complicated name, Conrad Lycosthenes and it's thought to be the inspiration for Nostradamus' predictions since they were published at the same time. So what could possibly be in the book? Well, it's a collection of omens that span the entire known history of Europe, going from Roman and Greek at times all the way up to modern day prophecy. The book also has illustrations of mythical and real creations in addition to woodcuts of elephants, moose, camels, and rhinoceroses. There are also some kind of weird twists like strange human creatures that have no heads and a series of sea monsters. The purpose might be a mystery, but one thing is for sure, it's definitely strange. Number 4. The Popol Vuh The Popol Vuh translates to the Book of the People and would be discovered in a small town in Guatemala by a Dominican priest named Francisco Jimenez in 1701. It's a phonetic copy of an oral recitation that was created after the Spanish conquest of Latin America. In addition to talking about the colonization, it also features a lot of mythical stories and even talks about the creation of the world. The mystery that surrounds the Popol Vuh comes from the unknown original source. Exactly how did Jimenez come across it? And since it was supposedly considered a secret, how was he allowed to access it? We may never really know the answers to those questions, but at least this is one mysterious book that we can actually read and understand. Number 3. The Dead Sea Scrolls the Dead Sea Scrolls would be discovered by two goat herders who fell into a cave along the Dead Sea in 1947 in an area known as Qumran. They discovered fragments of the scrolls, along with cloth, pottery, and wood that seemed to be 2,000 years old and had belonged to the nearby ancient settlement. Though it is a mystery who the scrolls actually belong to, the general consensus is that they belong to a group known as the Essenes which was a portion of the Jewish population who wanted to be cut off from the rest of the world. However, others think that they belong to the Pharisees, the Zealots, or even the Sadducees. Additional fragments of the scrolls and other treasures were found in nearby caves, and luckily they were hidden in clay jars, which kept them in pretty good shape. It all makes for a crazy discovery, and probably a weird day for two ordinary goat herders. Number 2. The Book of Soiga This book is a mystery because it has over 40,000 letters that are arranged in seemingly random order. In the 1500s, it would be John Dee, a mathematician that had set out to crack the code and figure out what in the world were on these pages. It makes the situation even harder that the author is completely unknown. 
And as D would begin his work to solve the mystery, he would discover that the letters stood for lists of magical incantations. It also seemed to have a table in the last 36 pages, each one dedicated to its own. Though as much as he would try, he simply could not find a solution. Being a very spiritual person, he then decided to take an alternative route for the answer, going beyond our world with the help of a medium in Europe to summon the archangel Uriel. Now, apparently, Uriel told him that the origin of the book dates back to Adam in the Garden of Eden. However, when he asked about those important tables in the back, Uriel simply replied that he didn't have the clearance to tell him and that only the Archangel Michael could help him. Now, unfortunately, Dee never made it to speak with Michael, and after his death, the book went missing for more than 500 years. Nowadays, the code is still unsolved, but there are still two known copies. And number one, the Voynich Manuscript. The Voynich Manuscript is said to be one of the most mysterious works of all time, thought to date back to the early 15th century, somewhere between 1404 and 1438 in northern Italy. Featuring 240 pages with illustrations and text, some of the pages are actually missing. At first glance, the book looks like a common herbal manuscript, though upon further inspection of the illustrations, all of the plants are actually unknown to mankind. To add to the mystery, nobody really knows what language it's written in, and scholars have tried again and again to decode it. Each of them have a different take on what the text is trying to tell the reader, and some say that it's a message, while others claim that it's a puzzle. And then, of course, some believe that the mystery is simply unsolvable. Though, if you'd like to give it a try, a copy can be found online. It may just be an otherworldly journal. Thanks for watching. Have you written a mysterious book? Tell me all about it in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time on World 5.